Hey, here with Wise Guys, got Oscar here. He's gonna show us his max rarity hero deck profile. Yeah. All right, so yeah, somebody asked me to keep updating this deck, so I just figured I would go ahead and drop a deck profile since I already finished show max rarity. Uh, three ulti stratos, not much to say about that. Best searcher in the game. Best uh, Harpy Flyers Duster if you get lucky enough. Uh, three fairies, pretty standard. Discard, send something to graveyard. Your bread and butter for combos. And that's for the three ups. For the two ups, we have two buy on. Part of the deck sends any hero to the graveyard and lets you add polymerization. Pretty much fin finalizes your combo. Uh, for another two ups, a Shadow Mist. I sometimes like to open one so I can discard it. Um, I don't like playing one. Because I think sometimes opening is good for the discard fodder. And then we're gonna go for Ambition Hero Increase. I love Increase, one of my favorite cards, especially when you draw it. It feels so good. It's like the best card to draw. Not um, Resin Pepperonis Konami, like literally, like Resin Pepperonis. Like they just fucked us up. <laughs> like, oh my god, I'm so upset about this, but. <sighs> I mean, the good thing is that before with Mali, um, you were so worried about putting a, a Link monster so you could have two zones for your monsters, but thank God for MR5 because now you can summon uh, the Link to that that only has one point arrow down, which is going to be um, uh, Wonder Drive, but now we don't have to worry about the zone, so at least it was one thing for the other, but still hurts. We still make it work somehow though. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and for the one-ups, uh, Emancipator, uh, you don't get to win. That's a gold. Um, we have uh, Soul Solid. Some people are playing too. Still not on the not gonna play too. Uh, Dine Attack. I have killed some people with this card. It's really funny. Um, Honest Neos, just pretty much your in-house uh, Neos uh, to boost the attack for all the cards. And this card, I think this card is more important than ever now, especially like if you open fairies, then you have a guaranteed way to go ahead and get to your mashings because Dark Law on this format is still ends game sometimes, uh, especially against Eldritch. Um, then we, those are gonna be for the one ups, we're done with the monsters here. Uh, spells and traps, um, I like to finish my combos, I like to find my combos. I like to finish my opponent's turns. I like to bait Ash and then resolve this card. Those are just beautiful cards. And then for the one of uh, polymerization, not real explanation. I wonder if you shouldn't, before everybody gives me shade, I have the English first set, but I think this one looks more pretty. <laughs> uh, and then we have the ultimate hero lifts. That one was difficult to find in good condition, but. I, I see it more, which is kind of weird. Uh, Dark Calling, just you know, get the expensive card out of your extra deck. Uh, Monster Reborn, and three infinite impermanence because we kind of want to play the game a little bit. All right, that's gonna be it for the spells and traps, and just to finish up over here with the main deck, and, uh, and then now we're gonna move to the extra deck. Uh, for the links, we're still playing three links. Actually, playing four still. Playing this guy. Sometimes relevant with the piercing. I still like the card. It facilitates OTKs. Like if they hand trap you a lot, like at least you can still like get like a lot of damage in. Uh, this guy's more important than ever. Uh, this card just sets the quick play spell. Like it's just like a very important card at this time, so you can do the absolute zero combo. Uh, I love this guy still, especially now that you don't have to dedicate an extra monster zone to it. Uh, these two guys, uh, people said that we were not going to play links on MR5. I mean, those people are still on table 500. Um, because this guy just gets you anything you want, this guy resets anything, and this guy helps you OTK. And the piercing does matter sometimes. Um, absolute zero. Pretty much blow up your opponent's board. Or Dryden with a little bit of downside, but he's still there. Um, this card, in case your opponent has too many negates and they are dumb enough to let you resolve polymerization. And then this guy right here, it's just for attack directly, sometimes close up games. Uh, sometimes it has a little bit of damage and they'll pick up a big booty or something and you just can't kill them. Um, then 
Two ulti <laughs> dark ones. Man, this card, finding this fucking card was pain on the ass in good condition. Shoutouts to Jock Crispy for getting me those two cards. Um, and then just to wrap this up, it's gonna be three cards. We're gonna have our blow up your spells and traps. And then you have Dark London Line, Goodbye Eldritch. We have uh, Break Upon this board after they negate fucking a million things. And this card, um, I was not expecting this card to be as good as it is against Eldritch. Like, I've been testing against my friend Jordan over here recording. And the fact that you can uh, quick play bounce um, the golden. Uh, land protectors like uh, Conquistador or Waquero or, or stuff like that. It comes in really handy. It's almost like in the, in the game. I really like that. Uh, and that's gonna be it. Um, I have a Destiny Hero Dangerous, but I forgot where I put it. But yeah, it's gonna be 15 for the extra deck. And the last thing on the side deck, things have changed on the side deck a lot uh, because this, we have a new format and we have cards that we have to have on our side deck if we want a chance. So of course, you know, classics, evenly match, uh, with no explanation needed, Dark Ruler no more, can't negate that, uh, Nibiru, I still play Nibiru, it still has to at least somehow stop your opponent and leave less negates, it's better for me at least. Um, then you have your three Cosmic Cyclone Twin Twisters, it's ass right now. Uh, you want this to uh, mostly banish uh, recurring spells and traps, especially the Eldritch Cards. You don't want to take that minus two? No, I, I, I don't. <laughs> you're like, you're like Twisters and then they're like, okay, end phase, uh, let me get two more cards. <laughs> Um, and Solemn Judgment. Uh, since everybody's playing Dark Ruler and Evenly Match, uh, heroes have a very hard time playing against uh, those two cards. They really they don't have an in-house negate. Oh yeah, also Lightning Storm. Yep, exactly. Well, actually, Lightning Storm can be solved. Um, I've been testing a lot, putting the heroes on defense. Uh, it, it actually has worked out against Lightning Storm, so I'm not really too afraid of Lightning Storm because uh, you still have things that protect you. You know, like even if they attack one of your heroes, you still have this guy to uh, pop a card right here. Uh, they forget about that effect to pop a card. Uh, you also get boost from a lot of cards on attack and defense, so uh, that's why like I'm not too worried about Lightning Storm. I can still put everything on defense, but yeah, like most mostly I'm worried about this card and I'm worried about this card. Gotcha. Yeah. Yep. Uh, a tip for hero players over here for Dark Ruler no more. Uh, you still have your mashing set. Absolute Zero has a separate chain on the graveyard. So uh, you can still quick play Absolute Zero even if it's negated and it's still gonna blow up your opponent's monster. So don't forget about that. Um, and of course, you're gonna go into uh, the other guy. Uh, so mashing saves you a lot for Dark Ruler no more. Like if you can hold it for uh, Dark Law, wait until they Dark Ruler you and then just mashing Slayer for Dark Law. So yeah, mashing is the way to play around this card. So don't sh shotgun your mashing unless your opponent like baits it with cycle or something like that. And that's gonna be it for the profile. Just uh, around uh, fourteen hundred dollars, no big deal. All right, guys. What's the most expensive card in there? Uh, fucking. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it has to be Dark Allah right now, because uh, Dark Allahs are like almost 160, 150 right now. Whew. Yeah, those Dark Allahs are just too expensive right now. Uh, but they're one of the best looking ultimates, so I do not regret it one bit. Yeah, they're the classic print. Oh yeah, yeah beautiful, beautiful. Alright, that's gonna be everything for today, guys. Uh, I might come up with some other spicy deck profiles over here. Jordan has been fucking beating the fuck out of me with uh, his Eldritch deck, so I might be uploading suits. He has an Eldritch Pure uh, deck profile for those that don't like combo, because not everybody likes combo. Uh, okay, that's everything for today, guys. Have a good day.